Alrighty everyone, so today I'm going to go over three things that I do in my account to help limit myself from uh, blowing up my account, to help limit myself from those monstrous red days to kind of wipe away months, potentially even years worth of gains. Uh, because what I find in, in, in uh, the be beginner trader community is they'll do really good, they'll get in a hot streak, but then what happens? Well, they think that they can't lose, so if they do take a loss, it's generally a bigger loss, then a bigger loss, then a bigger loss, and the next thing you know, you, you're down 30, 40, 50. I've seen, 90 down, I've seen people down 90% in their account in one day before um, because they literally could not step away and they had to be green. So <clears throat> what are three things that I do inside my accounts? There, there, there was a study that came out that they... Basically, these brokers, believe it or not, um, they control a lot of data. Okay, um, and and this is this is just a meeting I had with um, a software. A, a, I'm not going to say their name. Um, in fact, I highly doubt even any of you guys even recognize this broker because it's it's EU and and, and Asia popular. Um, they told me that. <laughs> If you put on your, uh, again, this is just what they told me. I can even show you the meeting uh, I have it recorded. Uh, they told me if you are um, Asian or you live in Asia, they automatically profile you in the highest risk department. They have a whole different department just for Asian traders. Because uh, they, what they find in the data is these traders are the most aggressive, they are the most risky, they use the most amount of leverage. Why do you think Binance allows you to do one to 300x leverage? It's because these guys are, were, were born into thinking that they should just kind of go all in. Hence why it's 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 good for you to not always use a ton of leverage. And, and why it's good that America and, China and, and Canada limits you to a 2 or 3x or maybe even a 4x leverage. Because once you get into... 30, 40, 50, 100, 300x leverage, you find that, you know, they are, they're automatically, you know, super high risk. Yeah, kind of racist. That is, that's literally just what he, what they told me. And, and I can actually pull up the meeting right now um, with this software. But the second they say that they're Chinese or, or is a account from China, they put them in their highest risk department. But they found that through data. It, it was just strictly through the data they found that Americans were the least risky, uh, and uh, which was shocking, uh, and, and the Chinese were the, were the most risky. Uh, so they they're they're data centers. They're one hundred and ten percent data centers. Now a study came out with these data centers with these brokers that they found the tripping point for traders. Okay, what was the loss? Because there has to be a number to everything. I'm firm believe there has to be a number to almost everything. What's, what's that loss amount um, where you, when, when, when a trader hits that, they start to go into that mode of like either I don't care or, you know, let's let's keep trading and, and, and go high risk. So what do you guys think that percent is out of curiosity? And oh, Daniel got it. Seven percent. Seven percent. It's indeed. Seven percent. They found if you hit a seven percent loss. That is when your most people go into that e either fight or flight or that um, like I don't care uh, I I don't know what the real word for it is but just a monstrously increasing risk after you hit that seven percent threshold um, the traders just I don't know traders decide uh, on on average uh, that's what happens so what do I do to ensure I don't blow up my account well. If I hit seven, if I hit a seven percent loss or more, um, so or more, that's what I do. I just simply have to turn off my computer. I, I, I the word is YOLO. Thank you. <laughs> that's what I was looking for. Um, I, I understand that um, shutting it down sounds easier than it is, but try shutting it down in the moment and just accepting. You know what? I lost today. It's, it's hard to accept to some people, but you know what? You have to accept the loss and shut it down. It sounds so easy to do, but so many traders fail to do it. Okay? So if you my max loss is if I hit a 7% loss or more in my, my account, 
Um, then I shut it down. Now, in my main account, because I don't trade with my full hundred thousand dollars, generally my biggest position size is five th or fifty thousand um, dollars, which means a max loss of three thousand five hundred. If I if I exceed the three thousand dollar loss, um, I shut it down. Does not mean you have to. You should keep trading until you're down seven percent or more. It generally, if I hit a red trade out of open, down seventeen hundred, down two thousand. And it's a colder market, and I'm not going to get many many more opportunities. I shut it down regardless. Um, but if you ever take a loss like today, today I had. If we go to my phone here, and we look at my small account. Look at this. Okay, this is my loss today. Down 12 percent right out right the gates was by far the biggest loss of, I've I've had as far as percent percent loss in a long time. As far as um, Percent loss or loss in my in my small account, absolutely. It, it, it's just like that seven percent thing. If you were able to manage three red trades in a row, three red in a row, then and and it's under seven percent um, max loss in your account. First of all, good for you for keeping good risk management. But second of all, uh, you need to understand that some days you are just not identifying patterns as well as other days. Uh, so it's it's just like that analogy. Oh man, three strikes. I mean, I'm on a losing streak. I'm, I'm just gonna get one big big you know home run trade and I'm, and I'm good for the day. No 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 no, guys. If you're three strikes and you're out, it's just like that study they found in that seven percent loss. You need to also shut it down. So the 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 things for me are seven percent, three red trades in a row. Okay. These are, these are two huge ones for me. Now, in the risk management chapter in our course, guys, I have a ton more things and in, 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 in rules I live by. And let me tell you this. Okay. If I'm in uh, trader limbo or trader rehab, I call it, where I'm, I'm on a losing streak, trader rehab. I learned this uh, from, from another trader. He does this a lot. Um, trader rehab means I'm, I'm down on the month. Um, you know, I, I've taken multiple red days. You guys know that time in your trading career where you're like, man, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not doing good. I'm, I'm getting, I'm underperforming. Um, something's up. I, you know, I, I'm thinking about either retiring or, or whatever it may be. We've talked about trader rehab um, a lot, uh, but uh, trader rehab. Um, I don't have like a, a direct like, okay, I need to have this many days until I'm in trader rehab. It's really about my emotions. Trading is all emotional. And then, so when I feel like I'm being a poor trader, that's when, I, that's when I put myself in trader rehab. If I'm trading like today, you know, decent decent opportunities, decent plays, and I'm just, they're just reversing and losing. I don't generally put myself in rehab unless it's getting to a point where it's like, okay, come on. I'm, you know, I'm just taking an, an unneeded amount of losses. But what I do in this scenario is I actually cut these in half. So, two, well, I can't cut three and a half, or three trades in, in, in half, really. So, two trades in a row I'm down, um, and three and a half percent max loss um, is, is, is my max loss on, on the day. Uh, I can't, in rehab, I, I have to loosen these. And I, and I also generally um, decrease my position size almost in half as well, um, one half position. Um, just certain things I do inside of Trader Rehab. I think I have a whole video on, on Trader Rehab, by the way. But be selfless enough and understanding enough in your career that you're going to have to put yourself in Trader Rehab at one point, okay? Just because I had one bad red trade today does not mean I'm going to throw myself in Trader Rehab. If I have another one like that and I'm below $4,000 in my, in my small account, definitely going to need to do that and not use some leverage. But, you know, uh, not yet. I, I don't feel... I, one bad day... Um, in my opinion, is not enough to put myself in trade rehab. Now, the last thing, and, and the thing that gets me the most is boredom trades. Okay, and I have I have a whole video, and we actually just did boredom trades um, on as, as far as the group lesson boredoms. It, it's that same exact tipping point for traders as when they are in gr the green. They force themselves to trade all the way down to red and then blow. And then and then once you're in the red, you say, okay, I'll just trade till I'm green and then I'll walk away. Don't do that, please. It's it never works. Um just 
once you do a green to red move in your account, walk away, understanding that you played your hand and and you probably weren't trading setups that were reliable in the first place. And the only point, the only reason you were trading is because you're green on the day. When I'm green, I actually generally decrease my position size and trade less because I know that this is such a common problem. If I hypothetically take a 5,000 share position, and I'm especially if I'm trading the same stock and as it's going up and getting riskier and riskier, I will generally start decreasing my position size as I'm as I'm profiting on the day. That's helped me a lot. Um, so understand that there's a number to everything, guys. Uh, and the psychology behind trading is so immense. You can probably do a whole college class on it. There's so much to it. Uh, and and the three things are are seven percent or more on your main on your on your entire account. You need to walk away. Um, if you guys trade with, ha whatever you trade with, I should say. So it doesn't have to be in your main account. If you trade with, uh, you know, one tenth of your account, then 0.7% needs to be your, your max loss. Uh, it, it's all, it depends on what you trade with. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, baseball analogy. Three strikes and you're out. Three strikes. You need to walk away. Number three, if you do a green to red move you also need to walk away these are not the fun things to talk about i want to go in here every day and talk about fun you know little scalp trades i've taken some profitable trades to hype you guys up to show you guys some lamborghinis i'm planning on buying new homes i'm planning on buying but stuff like that conversation shouldn't be happening if i'm not going over things like this what are things that i'm doing to ensure that i'm not blowing up my account in one single day a lot of you guys are like, man, like, like now I know myself so well where some of these, I, I've loosened these numbers or, 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 or tightened these numbers almost where I can tell, okay, it's time for me to walk away for the day. Um, and I might have not even came close to a max loss. I can already just feel that feeling coming on. Like I said, those numbers are just the average. You could be above that. You could be below that. Uh, it, it really does depend on who you are as a trader. Okay. That's going to do it for me today. Today was obviously not the best trading day, but I absolutely love what I do. And I could say that even when I take a fat loss uh, in a day. Um, I will always love what I do. Losing is a part of the game, okay? I'm going to head out for the day, guys. Uh, I'm going to, you know, keep my chin up, get ready for tomorrow, um, and, and just understand that today is just a bump in the road. Um, I'm going to have to lock it down from here. All right, team. Have an excellent rest of your day. I'll catch you first thing tomorrow morning. Peace, guys.